Alrighty guys, welcome to this video. My name is Leo Venus and as some of you know, I just finished my last exams in medical school which is really exciting because I've been working so many years towards this and I'm finally about to become a medical doctor and this frees up a lot more of my time to produce content for you and help spread fitness, nutrition, lifestyle and veganism as well. And today's video we're going to be talking about something that I believe to be extremely, extremely important. One of the most important topics in society today and that is namely the hierarchy of evidence. Now the reason I believe this topic to be so extremely important is because the opinions that we hold in our lives, the beliefs that we have actually determine the decisions we make. And when it comes to health decisions, these can have huge implications for our long-term health and for our futures, especially if we're making the wrong decisions. Now, the problem that we have in society today is that most of our opinions, the things that we believe in our day-to-day -day lives are actually not based on science, they're not based on facts, they're not based on logical thinking, but rather are formed subconsciously much of the time without us even giving it much thought, whether it be from common knowledge on the streets or commercials from the TV or the radio, or whether it just be traditions that are passed from one generation to the next. Many of the times we accept these traditions and we don't even think about whether the tradition is a good or a bad idea. So how can we avoid this issue, this problem of believing in the wrong things or holding opinions very strongly which are scientifically incorrect? Well, in the medical field we have something called the hierarchy of evidence because as medical professionals we cannot give advice to our patients based on what we think might be right, based on gut feeling or anything like that. It has to be evidence-based. We have to make sure that our patients are getting the best possible treatment according to the best evidence available today. This is why you'll never see a serious doctor recommending something like urine therapy or telling someone to follow a carnivore diet or anything as silly or unscientific as that. Now that being said, not all evidence is equal. Some studies are better than others, they're more important, more valuable than others. And this is exactly why the hierarchy of evidence divides the different types of studies and the different types of evidence based on the importance of each. So let's take a look at the hierarchy of evidence and go over some of the most important highlights. Okay, so this is the hierarchy of evidence and it's basically a pyramid with the weakest forms of evidence at the bottom of the pyramid and the strongest forms of evidence at the very top. If we look at the very, very bottom, we will see animal and laboratory studies. Now the reason these are not very good is because what happens in an animal is often not exactly the same as what happens in the human animal and the same with laboratory studies are often not going to show the same results as something would happen in vivo or in other words inside the human body. Also near the very bottom we have case reports or case series, narrative reviews, expert opinions and editorials. So I want you to take note here, expert opinion is near the very bottom of the hierarchy of evidence and I really want to emphasize how important this is because you can never take anyone's opinion to be fact. This is completely unscientific and whether it be a doctor or nutritionist, if you are taking an important health decision, I highly recommend you get at least two or three different opinions and that you read up on your condition or whatever the reason is that you are visiting your doctor or visiting your nutritionist and do educate yourself around that subject and then take whatever opinion that seems to be the best fit for you according to the evidence, according to what you have learned and then make your decision as informed as possible. But again, just want to really emphasize one more time that expert opinion is one of the weakest forms of evidence. You do well to remember that and unless an expert's opinion is based on science that's higher up in the hierarchy then it really isn't interesting. You might as well just discard it because there is no credibility there. Now almost at the very top you have meta-analyses and systematic reviews which is basically compilations of similar studies looking at similar endpoints where you can combine the data to increase the power of the study which basically means its ability to predict real life relationships within the studies. And at the very very top you have clinical practice guidelines, basically the recommendations of the biggest authorities within certain fields. And the reason this is the strongest form of evidence is because these organizations are going through all of the evidence and putting them together to come to the most accurate conclusions. An example of this is when the International Agency for Research on Cancer with the WHO released its report on the carcinogenicity of red meat and processed meats, classifying red meats as a class 2A carcinogen probably causing cancer and processed meats as a class 1 carcinogen definitely causing cancer in humans. Now in order to come to this conclusion they had 22 of the leading experts in the field look at over 800 studies and put all of that together to come to this conclusion. Now, obviously this is a lot of work which is the reason why it is so important to have these organizations that are putting together the evidence to give us the best perspective possible. Now this is not to say that these organizations can never make mistakes but it is the best source of evidence we have. So if you watching this video right now want to go through life without strongly holding to opinions which are scientifically incorrect then I highly recommend you learn this principle of thinking. Every time you want to assess 
how confident you are in a certain opinion, think back to this hierarchy of evidence and determine which level of evidence you have supporting your views. And if you have better quality evidence come into your life which contradicts your previous beliefs or your previous opinions, then as a rational person you should change your beliefs according to the best evidence so that you are aligning yourself as well as you can to reality. So there you have it, the hierarchy of evidence, one of the most important topics in my opinion and I wish this were taught in all schools around the world so that people would learn to be more critical, more scientific in their thinking and would know how confident they should be in their opinions according to how much evidence they have backing their points of view. It would teach a lot of people more open-mindedness because a lot of times the problem isn't really that people are just ignorant, but the problem is that they so strongly believe in something that even if they are wrong, even if they are shown better quality evidence, they stubbornly lock themselves in that position rather than making decisions that are better for them and their futures based on reality, based on the best evidence. So that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay science-based and go plant-based.